Hey there, this is Rita Desai with Samson Properties in the Washington, D.C. metro area. And I'm Shannon Marin with EXP Realty, the Marin marketing team in beautiful Vancouver Island based out of Campbell River. Hey, you Rita. beat me with those beautiful words, Shannon. I'm the <laughs> capital of you. <laughs> Let the challenge begin, Ritu. Absolutely. I think my side of the border is much better. Oh, so. you think down down there you're all you're all good, hey? Hey, we I are. Borders are closed, know. but I think we can work through this. So <laughs> let's start with a, throw a, a challenge over here. What's your interest rate, Shannon? Interest rate. Now, this is interesting because I know your mortgages work different than ours do, but our interest rate on a five-year fix over a 30-year term is 2.09%. Okay, that is low, but we do business a little better. Our buyers don't have to deal with the anxiety. We get one interest rate for 30 year fix and average right now is a little bit under 30 years. Uh, it's about under 3%. So we don't, we used to have a lot of these five year arm um, at the amortization of 30 years. No more anymore. After the financial meltdown, we started doing 30 year fix, 40 year fix or 15 years. So. Wow. Okay, so yeah. you're saying that somebody takes out a mortgage and they never have to talk to their lender again for 30 years nope. unless, they, unless they sell and need to pay out their mortgage. So yeah. what's the penalty? No penalty. There's no premium and penalty. And you can, if you sell your home, you just sell it or you want to refinance, you can refinance. There's no prepayment penalties. So yeah, and if you make extra payments, the 30 year drops it down to um, a lot more reasonable payments for us. So yeah, so I get points for yeah, that. Yeah, you're going to get a point for the mortgage terms. I'll give you that. And I think I want to buy some more U.S. properties. You do. <laughs> okay, let's get through the end. Let's do, have a down payment. What do you guys need for minimum down payment for, say, a first time home buyer? First time buyer, 5%. We can go as little as three and a half percent with our FHA loan. Eat you on that one. Oh, you got the terms. <laughs> we do. So depending on people's credit, they may do as little as three percent down. We have local state government funding program that allows zero percent down. Okay, we we did have that at one time, but we don't have it no any longer. So no. irrespective of who the buyer is, they all have to put minimum five percent for you guys. Five percent. 5% down for, for everybody on investment properties, 20%. Our investment can go depending on 20 to 30%. If it's a condo, it's more uh, more uh, than the fee simple for us. Oh, is that yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, so it varies depending yeah. on where, what kind of property people are buying. Yeah. So that another, we score two points on that one. So that's <laughs> awesome. So, hey, we're realtors. We can be a little competitive over here. <laughs> Yeah. How yeah. about affordability? Let's talk affordability. How about mm. that? I'm I'm getting points back on this one. I know it. <laughs> so, townhouse, first time buyer townhouse. Uh, we're looking at a price point of about two eighty with something that you can move into two eighty Canadian dollars. Canadian dollars. Which is okay. about still 300, a little over. Hey, you're going to be looking at like 320 US dollars, yeah. something like that. So um, that is move into, it's pretty much ready to go about a thousand square feet. So getting into something uh, still first time buyer level that is a little bigger square footage, say 12 to 1500 square feet, you're looking around 350. And these are condos or townhomes? This is townhomes. Ooh, you do beat me in affordability because my market, where are the capital? We, 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 got, we got some little leniency over here. <laughs> we're, we're in the capital. So our average price point for my first time home buyer will be anywhere between 450 to 550 for a townhouse with um, not much amenities in it, but definitely a good starter home. It's a move-in ready. And then we jump all over after that. But at 320, your price point i think we can buy one bedroom condo in this area ouch 
Awesome. Yes, we are expensive compared to you guys. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But you have city, we have country. You, know? you do. We have ocean, river, and lake, and you have the city vibe. So we, we have city go. and suburbs. We have vineries around here. We do have a lot of hiking trails, Blue Ridge Mountain, and some. But oh, yeah. yeah, we um, it's a it's a very balanced area. It's a very uh, people move to DC metro area because of beautiful four seasons and uh, work life balance. It's a big deal in our area. How about you guys? For definitely for lifestyle. So okay. we're, we're on Vancouver Island. Uh, we're surrounded by the ocean. We have lakes, rivers, camping, quad trails, mountain biking trails, running trails, five minutes in any direction. Oh my God, your town sounds like me. I love those things. And can you do year round? Because every time when we talk about Canada, we're talking about cold, brutal winter. Yeah, we very rarely get cold temperatures. We get some rain, but you can still kayak in the rain. You can still run in the rain. You can still mountain bike in the rain. So we do get some nasty storms throughout the winter, but uh, we definitely are not housebound. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's, a, yeah. that's a good reason to consider as a retirement community also over there. Yeah, we have a lot of people moving here to get out of the rest of the uh, cold three feet of snow types of uh, winters, so. Oh, I bet you. Yeah. So let's talk about overall market for you guys. What's what's going on in your neck of the wood? Um, but with the market shifting, what's going on? Slightly, slightly shifting um, through this through the later spring. We saw, you know, maybe the urgency was calming down a bit, and it's not anything you can really pinpoint. It was just a feel in in the market um so the urgency was calming down where things were five days on the market and now we're seeing you know two weeks or a little bit more even uh for days on market so um, prices are still going up we're still seeing multiple offers but we are still also seeing um, some, maybe I want to say greedy sellers that price too high and are now having to bring their prices down. So that affects the overall, of course. I think we're twins on this one. It's the exact thing what's going on in my market. Yeah. You, just reflect, you said word to word, what I was going to talk about my market. Okay. The only thing our days on the market were up from $40 to now maybe a week or 10 days, maybe two weeks at max. Okay. Uh, but we do have greedy sellers like you guys who are still very unrealistic about the shift in the market and, and hopefully they'll adapt. Right. So right. That's, okay. that's interesting how we're so far apart on the East and West Coast and totally two different uh, parts of the, uh, not the world, of the North America. And we have so much resemblance with the marketplace and the last question i think we had is how about the single family homes um we talked about lifestyle that attracts a lot of our families in the area what do you got with the price point in your region so the price point for somebody coming in uh first time buyer coming into the market for a single family home uh you can get into a 12 1300 square foot one level home uh, okay. in decent condition for around 500. Um, the average price point, the average selling price point for just average past sales over the past month is about 650,000. And you know that buys you something a little bit more upscale. So I think we're not too far apart with our single family pricing. Our starters are right around 650 to 700. Okay. And then you get into a step up, not a luxurious, but a more of a starter home right around that 700 to 750, 800 is where you comfortably get a decent square footage for us. So I think we're very similar on this. Yep. And then last topic, I'm going to cut you off guard is how about investors? Do you guys have a lot of investors in your area considering... All the amenities you have around it, it just came up in my head. I know we didn't. I love investors. That is, if I'm going to work with buyers, um, you know, I love working with investors because I have rental properties myself. And yes, I mean, our rents, and I'm sorry for any of the tenants out there that are watching or people that are looking for a rental, but our rents are extremely high. 
So mm -hmm. our price point is low and our rents are high. So um, for a three bedroom, one and a half uh, bath townhouse, you're looking at, you know, a price point of say, you know, 450 to purchase, but the income on that is going to be about $2,500 a month. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah. And you if it's on a be. single family home right now, the average rents on a single family home are about $3,000 a month. Yeah. Oh my God. Compared to the ratios we have over here, you guys beat us. With our taxes and HOA and everything, our, my investors don't break even most of the time unless they put significant down payment. Um, our rental market is strong, but it doesn't r return as strong as ROI is very, very low. Yeah, so, no, we actually, we can, we can get anything, you know, to, um, to cash flow right now almost. Oh, wow. So you yeah. beat me on that one. So I think we are even. I've been keeping a tally on the board. Are you tallying? I did. <laughs> this is I'm, being recorded. I'm going to go back and check. <laughs> you can. I'm sure our viewers will also. But no, I think it was such a pleasure and honor, so Shannon, to know and learn about your market. And just, you know, honestly, this really helps us also in D.C. area that how different but how similar we are around the world and around the continent, um, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we're so far apart in miles, um, but so many similarities. So it's, yeah. it's been a great chat. Likewise. And, uh, yeah, let's call it a tie and remain friends. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> Take care. Thanks again okay. for taking your uh, time out of your busy schedule. Okay. You also, Ritu. I look forward okay. to seeing you soon. Soon. Take care. Okay. Bye. Bye.